Good morning and welcome to CCD for kindergarten to fifth grade. I already miss seeing our kids from St. Florian's and St. Agnes. You might notice I look a little bit different. Don't worry, it's still me. Yesterday, I shaved half of my mustache off by accident, and I thought that wouldn't be good to walk around with half of a mustache. So I shaved the rest of it off. Now I gotta wait a week till my mustache comes back. What I wanna talk about today is this weekend's gospel. It's about a blind man who is a beggar, meaning he was poor and would sit by the roadside and ask people for food and money for help. The disciples asked, was this man born blind because of sin? And Jesus said, no, he was born blind so that he may show the greater glory of God. Jesus healed this man. So imagine you're born and you never see for your whole life. You know how when you shut your eyes, everything is black? That's the way everything looked for the blind man for his whole life. So even though he was born blind, he was able to show God's greater glory through getting to know Jesus by chance. So he was lucky. He got to know Jesus while Jesus was walking in the earth. What a beautiful thing. We too get to know Jesus through our prayer life, through our prayers. I taught about prayer quite a bit this year. We get to know Jesus through the Mass. I'm doing Mass on the internet now, so maybe you can watch with your parents. I'm grateful to be able to offer that for the people. And we get to know Jesus from our parents. Our parents teaching about Jesus, teaching us how to stay close to him. So imagine a person born with any type of problem you could imagine. Or we have a problem in our life that we don't like at all. There's a lot of different problems that people have, unfortunately. And no matter what age we are, we can have problems. If Jesus cared that much for one man begging by the side of the road, a man who has nothing, how much do you think he cares about our problems, about what we go through? He cares a lot. One of the things we can do in our prayers is go to Jesus and ask for help. Whatever we have going on, Jesus is there to help us out, just like he was helping out the blind beggar. Jesus loved that blind beggar. He loves each person individually. That's one of the beautiful things about God. God knows us. He loves us. He wants to be close to us, and all we have to do is take Jesus' invitation and to pray every day. Pray to God, pray to Jesus, and stay close to Him. Just a reminder... It's still Lent right now, so make sure you don't eat meat on Fridays. Do your Lenten penance, whatever you gave up for Lent, keep doing that. Lent is when we look at the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus, his walk with us, and we walk with him as he walks the road to the cross. I would like to put out a little video for the children's stations of the cross coming up soon and we can do the stations together on the good old internet you might notice something right behind me i 
I'm wearing that because we're in the middle of Lent right now. Remember on the question of the week and at CCD in Sunday school, I like to ask, what color is that vestment? You know what sometimes people say? It's the color salmon. Or it is pink. And what do I like to say if someone says that it's pink? It's not pink, it's rose. We call that color rose because that's the color of wildflowers. So in the middle of Lent, we can make sure that we're trying to stay close to Jesus during Lent, not eating meat on Friday. And I know with school being out, you probably have some extra time at home with your family. And your parents are most likely asking you to do things around the house along with schoolwork from school. If I were you at home with my parents in some ways I would really like it and in some ways I would find it difficult. It's not easy to do everything our parents ask us to. One of the biggest reasons I think is sometimes we just don't want to. Your parents might say, well, you should clean your room. Maybe you can help me with the dishes or do different things or do your schoolwork. That's not an easy thing to want to do. Some kids are really good about doing their schoolwork. I heard some of them tell me they're gonna do all their schoolwork in two days so they can not do schoolwork for a while. But uh, one, of, one of the things you can do for Lent is try to be a great family member. It's not easy to do. Some of the things you can do to be a great family member are, number one, Pray every day. Ask God for help to be a good family member. Try your best to do what your parents ask you to when they ask you to do things for them. That would be a great blessing for them. They love you no matter what, but I'm sure they would love it if you helped them out and even offered to help with them with things that are going on around the house. Another thing you can do is be nice to your brothers and sisters. Sometimes that's easy and sometimes it's not. Maybe you could share with them, show them how to play a game that you know how to play and they don't. Or if you have some fun YouTube videos, you could watch YouTube videos with your brothers and sisters and try not to fight. Here's a question to you. Do you think Jesus would want you to fight with your brothers and sisters. I'm guessing, actually I'm not guessing, I know Jesus would not want you to fight with your brothers and sisters. Just as Jesus loves us, he wants you to be there for your brothers and sisters. Sometimes it's not, sometimes it's hard if you have an older brother or sister, but you can lead by example, be nice to them. If you are the older brother and sister, you can be nice to your younger brother and sister. They love you and they love it when you do things with them. So in some of your spare time, make sure you do some fun things with your younger brothers and sisters. Now what I'd like to do is say our three prayers. We always say our three prayers at the end of CCD. I love doing that. I love praying with you guys. Your prayers mean a lot. They mean a lot to God. They mean a lot to me. So I'm going to do is say, we're going to pray 
for those who are sick today. We're going to pray that doctors can find a cure for the coronavirus and also they can find and discover a vaccine. But like always, we'll pause and you can think of somebody or something you like to pray for. And then we'll say our three prayers for that special prayer intention. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Make sure you keep praying every day, and know that I'm praying for you, and I miss you. Goodbye until the next video.